beginning of production on this, our pre-production was pretty exploratory in that, you know, we we all had different ideas. How do we stay true to the license and do something completely new and interesting that not only works for people who might have seen the first film a long time ago, but who are also huge fans and know every line of dialogue. Everything from story to the design of the characters to the way we shoot the scenes, um, the cameras we use, the lighting setups, everything we try to sort of always ask ourselves, like, would, would this be plausible in a Back to the Future film? My main role actually as episode director is being the fan and trying to take every single aspect of the process and filter it through a fan's eyes so that when someone is playing this game who knows all the dialogue from all the movies, they're not gonna be disappointed. Our game is, is a brand new adventure with Marty and Doc. It takes place six months after the events of the third film and now we're going on a brand new adventure with them that takes them through all different time periods, lots of problems. You as the player playing as Marty, helping to sort of figure things out for Doc. One thing that's really great um, that sold us all at Telltale on the season and on why we needed to make this game um, was the sort of backbone storyline for the whole five episode bit. And it was great when the designers started sort of throwing out ideas and asking questions of like, well, you know, what, what would Emmett have been like when he was younger? And we're all kind of like, oh, yeah, that's actually interesting. I'd like to explore that a little bit. Once you start with those interesting questions, then you get a lot of um, stories that come out of that which are really appealing to fans. The usual. You lead a pretty unusual life, Doc. It's an unusual universe, Marty.